What's good, guys? If you're looking for cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure I head over my sponsor. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout for the most cheapest, most fastest, most quickest, reliable source on the internet right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K22 My Team video. And guys, today we got some new content if you guys have been paying attention, man. Um, before you get into this video, guys, if you guys are new, smash that sub button, smash that like button. We're going to just pretty much make a video. I guess we'll pop like two packs and then we'll just go over the market. So if you guys are new, pretty much on this channel, we do go over a bunch of MT methods to help you guys make MT. And we pop packs on this channel. We also do sell MT. So if you guys need MT, hit me up. I'm buying and selling MT on both Instagram and our Twitter. Links down below. And if you're interested in the sports cars, follow the second channel and hit me up on Instagram or Twitter if you're interested. But anyways, let's check out this new content. Prime type packs. 10,500. Diamond Steve Nash, Diamond Demar, Stefan Marbury, Jason Richardson, who's going to be a dog. Karis LeVert, who's also going to be a dog. And Bojan. This is pretty cool stuff. Content is media. It's pretty good content. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. I'm going to pop two packs. If we don't get anything in these two packs, we don't get anything in these two packs. I'm only popping two. Right here, we get Clyde and Marcus Cousins. Definitely do not want that whatsoever. And last pack of this video, I really would like to pull my first diamond of the year. I only pulled one out of this out of the free packs. Oh, uh, ah, uh, wow. Yeah, these packs are not treating me well. And that's going to be it. So we're down 20K. You know what? Uh, I'll pop one more. I'll pop one more. Collect five Bulls player. I'll take that my team goal. Let's see what we got right here, man. Last pack of the day. And we get an emerald and a gold. Oh, my God. All right. <sighs> wow. I've been popping a lot of packs. If not, it has not been looking good whatsoever, guys, for these packs. Not going to lie. It's been pretty, pretty tough. Anyways, oh, I'm so upset. Let's look at the market. What kind of packs we got in here? Free agent award player, Bulls. All right. All right. Let's do this, guys. All right. Let's get into this market. Let's see what the diamonds are looking at. Let's see what's good with the MT market. Let's see if this crashes the market. Me, personally, I don't think this will crash the market. I just think the diamonds will go down in value. Maybe some amethyst. These cards that do come out are not high value because they're really hard to pull. There's, like, no guarantee in them whatsoever. But anyways, let's look at the amethyst filter. Let's see what's going on with it. Um... I don't know. Let's just see what's going on with it. Let's see. Let's go to Amethyst. Let's go to around 8,300 MT. And as you guys can see, guys, the Amethysts are still pretty high up in value. They're still not dropping. There's really no market crash whatsoever. So honestly, if you did invest on Friday, you did make a lot of MT. These cards are not going to drop until I would say Friday. So now you guys know on Friday, you must invest. Investing is so key on Fridays. This is what you have to do. Investing on Fridays is going to be your best meth MT making method um, because Amethyst were well under 6,000 MT. They're up over 8,000 MT. At least most of them are. So pretty insane. Um, Rick Barry 8300. I don't know. There's just a lot of movement in the market. Let's check out the rubies. The new rubies, Karis Levert. This guy is 110% usable. He is going to be a beast. So let's check out the rubies. Let's see what's going on. Rubies are 110% usable at this point in this game. So that's pretty cool to me. Um, maybe we'll play some 5 on 5 soon. We'll probably stream soon as well. I've been streaming a lot on TikTok, but let's check out the rubies. Let's see what's good. Yesterday or on Friday, the rubies were around 2,000 MT. We got Johnny Moore with 3,400. So if you invested in James Worthy at around 2,500 MT, the man is up over 3,500 MT, over 3,700 MT. So now you guys know. When they, these rubies on Friday, they hit a certain price, you have to invest. Lori Marketing was almost 1,900 MT. He went up to 3,700 MT. That is absolutely insane. So, honestly, to make MT, just continuously refresh on the ruby and the Ami filter. Not only that, I want to check out one more filter after this. Just saying, on the weekdays, the market is most definitely slower than Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The Thursday, the market does definitely start to get a little crazy. It definitely does. It's just not as consistent as Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think the best market day by far is Friday. There's a lot of market movement. Those are the day. That's the one day where you should make at least 50 KMT if you have at least 30 KMT. So pretty much, I do have no T. I literally spent 200,000 MT of hard-earned MT in packs. We're going to have to make that back today. I didn't really play the game yesterday. 
have some stuff going on so we're gonna have to make that back i bet you in next video we have a good amount of mt i guarantee you in next video we have a good amount of mt um we really really gotta get that going and also we have five tokens so we can get a sapphire player all right so ruby filter is absolutely dry let's check out the amethyst filter let's check out flash amethyst filter see what's going on over here we get a nice Fred Van Fleet, a Claw Snipe, and or a Pedra Snipe. We're going to make a lot of MT. Even Fred Van Fleet's up in value. He was going for 13. He's at 15,000 MT. And I forgot. Another way to make MT, guys, bid sniping. You guys got to know exactly who you're looking for, though. This Sydney Moncrief for 6,600. You can flip him for 8. It's not the biggest profit margin, but it definitely adds up. Um, Pretty much, man. Just try bid sniping. I think the Rubies and the Sapphires are better to bid snipe. But Amethyst as well are definitely pretty solid. Um, scrolling through here, I don't really see anything as of right now. The market's dead. Look how much time there is between each ruby. That's kind of hard to believe. And also another player that went up a ton is Manu Ginobili. If you invested in any of those rubies, they went up a lot. As long as we don't get a pink diamond drop this week, which I don't think we will, we're going to see the rubies consistently. It's pretty much the new Amethyst filter from last year. The Amethyst filter from last year was my best MC making method by far. Um, but I guess for the remainder of the video, I guess we're just going to look at the content, see who's good, see if who's worth it, see what their prices are going to be. Let's go over to Karis Levert. He's actually one of my favorites, I would say. He's, he's going to be cheap, too. He's super affordable. Nice. He has a decent three-point shot. His defense is decent. He's pretty good. He's definitely usable. 6'6", six, six shooting guard, small forward definitely usable let's check out what he's gonna be he's probably gonna be under 2k that's my guess he's gonna be like 2500 3000 and i'm gonna invest in him even though he's not even that he's not even that um easy to he's not even that easy to pull let's check out jason richardson and stefan marbury is always a beast in the beginning guys the beginning stefan marbury amethyst is always a dog always a dog jay rich is definitely gonna be a beast as well um he could shoot and he has pretty decent defense so definitely keep an eye on him. And then let's check out Stefan Marbury. I'm definitely going to scoop him up. Probably with the remaining of my MT. Stefan Marbury is going to be probably around 15 to 20K. This guy's a beast. His 2-1 shot's decent, but his jump shot's always amazing. Defense is decent, but I'm telling you, this guy's going to do everything. He's going to dunk. He's going to shoot. He's going to play decent defense. And he's going to win you a ton of games. So if you want, you could get a ton of snipes this way. Let's check out DeMar DeRozan and then Steve Nash. And that's really just going to be it for the video. DeMar DeRozan, Diamond. He's going to be expensive. 160K on the first card. He has a terrible three-point shot, too. And his defense is terrible. This card is terrible. If you use this card, you're bugging out. His defense is trash. And he's not even close to worth 100K. So I would stay away from that card. He's not usable whatsoever. And this Steve Nash card is going to be a beast, though amazing on the shoot amazing on the shots what kind of badges do you have sniper hot zone hunter yeah this guy's a beast guys this card limited spot up yeah this guy's gonna be a beast circus threes steve nash is probably one of the best shooters in the game and you know what guys we're gonna end this video off uh i'm gonna pop one more pack and that's gonna be it for the video i'm absolutely broke we gotta sell some stuff what am i gonna do gotta do this for the vid yeah oh my goodness yeah don't pop these packs guys i gotta go peace out hope you enjoyed the video this is a l peace